Have you ever wondered how to know how much pesticide you're applying when using a backpack sprayer? Are you putting down too much or too little? Well, calibrating your backpack sprayer ensures the proper quantity of pesticide is applied, therefore making sure that you're not over or under applying. That, in fact, saves you money. It also lowers environmental impact by ensuring only the right amount is used, which also lowers the chance of developing pest resistance. Some people may ask, why do I need to calibrate my backpack sprayer if I'm just spot spraying weeds? Spot spraying means you are individually targeting each weed plant and not broadcasting the herbicide. Look at the two pictures above. The picture on the left shows an area of high density of spotted knapweed, and the picture on the right shows low plant density. What if these are in the same pasture that you're treating? Are you going to spot spray each plant in the high density area? Probably not. Most likely you're going to broadcast spray the area. You'll be applying a different quantity of pesticide if you're broadcasting versus spot spraying. Consequently, this emphasizes the need to calibrate your backpack sprayer. This episode shows you step by step how to calibrate your backpack sprayer through the shortcut method. For the shortcut method to calibrating your backpack, also known as the 1128 method, the tools you'll need include a container calibrated to ounces, a stopwatch, a measuring device, and some method to mark the ground such as flags like these. The first step in this shortcut method you'll want to measure off an area that is 18 and a half feet long by 18 and a half feet wide. This represents 1 one twenty-eighth of an acre. Using your measuring tool and your markers, you'll be able to accurately mark off the right size area for this method. Now that you have your area marked, you're ready to time the spray. To do this, fill the backpack full of water. Begin spraying the area at the speed you would normally and comfortably spray while timing how long it takes to spray the entire 1 1 of an acre. Keep consistent pressure. When finished, record the time it took to spray the area. Now if you're having trouble seeing where you sprayed, add some dye to the water to help. Now you'll repeat this process of timing how long it takes to spray this area. Do this three times. When finished, calculate the average of all three recorded times. After you have averaged the three times, spray into your calibrated container, labeled in ounces, for that average time. In this example, 1 minute 25 seconds was our average. The collected fluid ounces represents the number of gallons per acre your sprayer is delivering. In this example, we collected 64 fluid ounces, which means at that speed and pressure we would be applying at a rate of 64 gallons per acre. Now that we have the gallons per acre, we can now calculate how much pesticide to add to your backpack sprayer. Divide the amount recommended on the product label, amount per acre, by the gallons per acre of your sprayer. This total will give you the amount of pesticide to add per gallon of solution. In our example, our product label recommends an application of 5 pints per acre. Convert pints into ounces. 1 pint equals 16 liquid ounces, so 5 pints equals 80 ounces. We divide that by 64 gallons per acre, and this tells us we need 1.25 ounces of solution per gallon of water. So if your backpack sprayer holds 5 gallons of solution, you would multiply the ounces per gallon by the size of your tank. In this case, you would add 6.25 ounces of product per tank. So as you can see, calibrating your backpack sprayer is an easy process using this short 4-step method. Mark the area, time the spray, measure the application, calculate the quantity of pesticide needed.